global terms. And what do you see for Turkey as a potential role in the global environment? I think the, the Secretary's visit to Turkey uh, and the President's upcoming visit to Turkey underline the importance uh, that the American, that the United States uh, puts on our partnership uh, with Turkey and on Turkey's role both with, res it, it, with respect to Europe and to the Middle East uh, and, and also Central Asia. So it is an, uh, an emphasis on uh, the importance of our partnership. Uh, just a quick follow-up. Uh, do you think or could you call this a strategic partnership when in real terms? I'm sorry, could you... Would you, would you call the Turkish EU, uh, Turkish uh, United States relations, sorry, based in Brussels, so everything is EU here. Uh, just can you call it a real strategic partnership? Because that word is used too much, but it's not fulfilled most of the time. Well, I think the United States and Turkey, uh, they've worked very closely together as NATO allies uh, and bilaterally for uh, 50 years, and the, the issues now uh, in the Middle East, in Central Asia, uh, are critical to both our security, and we are working together on them. Uh, thank you. Uh, Nian Shen Zhang from Peoples. I have a question about the uh, uh, financial crisis. Everyone's talking about that, and you mentioned that it's uh, uh, maybe cooperation between uh, uh, U.S. and EU on that. How, you, you think, or oh, I have a question maybe for both uh, Mr. Kabut and uh, Ms. Slaughter, how, how you think the uh, financial crisis mean for European or for American? Is everyone talking about uh, the difficulties? Maybe we also could talk about the, the, the challenges or opportunities. Or what does it really mean? It's maybe called, I mean, for the integrations, things like that. Thank you. I mean, it very clearly illustrates that we are in the same boat. Okay. If we didn't knew, knew it before, now we know it. And uh, we are in the same boat, and there's a storm blowing and waters are extremely choppy. It's only by, and there are several others in the boat, has to be said as well, it's only by dealing with it together. There's no national solution, be that Swedish or American or British or whatever, to a gl the first truly global financial and economic crisis. Uh, so I, I, I think what will happen, irrespective of how successful we are with G10, 20, or managing the different issues that are there, I think there's a recognition that we must work far more together on management of the global issues, and few things are more important than the global economy. Do we have a microphone here first? Um, yes, it's um, David Brunstrom from, from Reuters. I, I wonder if I could ask uh, Lord, Lord Malik Blan and, and, and Slaughter uh, uh, about um, how, how deep they think the divisions are on the issue of stimulus um, uh, at uh, G20, and um, how important will it be to have a free trade element in uh, coming out of that. Okay. Well, look, let, 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 let me just say that I think the differences are in part definitional, but at times like this, uh, inevitably, as the press moves towards April the 2nd, they are blown up as more than that. The fact is every country is stimulating its economy, but they're all starting from different places. Uh, and, you know, I think the, lead, the finance ministers made it clear in the G20 preparation meeting last weekend that everybody would do what it takes. And, you know, the IMF has sent, set a broad global benchmark of 2% this year, 2% next year. When you count in the, the, the stabilizers, which in Europe are so much part of this, the welfare payments we make as unemployment rolls grow, you know, we're on track. So, you know, it, it, in a sense, it's, it's, it's a false dichotomy which is being set up. Uh, it reflects the fact that there are concerns that we not build up so much debt that we crowd out other people's access to financial markets. So there is a debate, but it's not this sort of either-or debate that, that people have. The second issue on trade, let me say as someone who has 
for our Prime Minister been traveling the world uh, on, on doing the G20, I have never seen an issue race up the agenda as rapidly as trade is because in the last couple of months you've seen a collapse of global exports and trade at a much faster rate than the decline in the global economy as a whole. Uh, in some Asian countries you've seen as much as a 30% contraction over just a couple of months. Uh, in some African countries, Botswana, for example, which is mainly an, a diamond exporter and a very successful one, didn't sell a single diamond in November. So, you know, in the light of this, the, the call for free trade to be protected, for monitoring mechanisms to make sure people don't backtrack on their trade commitments, to add in trade finance to make sure we can get the wheels of trade going again. That issue is racing up there to, to sort of join the stimulus and regulation, if you like, as the big issue of this forthcoming summit.